Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So, um, more tips from my book, How My Loving Him Taught Me How to Love Myself. Um, I actually just found my manuscript and I, um, I'm so happy because now I can really just let you know what's exactly, what exactly was going on in my head at that time when um, I got my heart broken. Um, it sucked. Like I said, it really, really sucked. So I really want to just go on um, confidence today. So confidence. Um, I really, I believe I really had at that point in that time in my life, I really had really no self-esteem or I really just, I didn't have confidence in myself to do the things that I know that I, I could do, the things that I'm actually doing now. And, um, you know, it took a lot for me to to build up, build up that confidence. It took a lot for me to even realize that I didn't have that much confidence in, with me, inside of me. So, um, so we're gonna talk about that today. Um, so I was looking at, I read so many books. So you can go to the bookstore and you can just go into the aisle and look for things on confidence, things on self-pride, things on, I mean, I, I'm gonna get into it. It was like how, why men love bitches and like, like the, the psychology of men. I read so much stuff because I could not understand why this man could not love me as much as I loved him. Why, if he would have loved me half as much as I loved him, that would have been enough for me. But I just couldn't get it. Cause like I said, I thought my love, since I loved him so much, I thought that he should, he should love me. And that, that was just it. That was my, my thing. Plus I'm thinking, oh, I'm all that. Why don't he love me anyway? My ego, your ego is something that you really need to watch out for because it can take you down the wrong road. Um, it can really do that. Don't be, you know, don't think that you deserve, um, something that, that, that somebody should give you something you deserve because you're pretty or cute or whatever, because it don't, it's, it's not like that. Um, so I, was looking at there and, and um oh so I actually read this one book by Joyce Myers it's um the confident woman it's called the confident woman and it it really helped me get control of my emotions it it, it helped me see myself as God sees me um as the beautiful wonderful decent loving person that I am um like I, I could I could see why he didn't respect me because I really didn't respect myself. I mean I just thought that I I, I wanted what he had and I wanted him to give it to me. I wanted to ride in his Porsche, you know, I wanted to be his arm candy. I wanted to go away and, you know, just have a good time and not worry about things and I wanted to make him Oh sorry about that. That kind of just fell. <laughs> But I wanted to make him love me. And, um, you know, you can't do that. You can't make somebody love you. You, They have to do it on their own. The, um, if you're not seeing that, if you have to work on work on love, work at love, um, then it's just pretty much not love. It's not for you. Um, or that person. Let's fix that. That person is not for you. If you have to, if, it, if it's hard working. Um... I, like I, I constantly begged for this guy's attention and I, I thought when I got it, I felt good about myself. I felt confident in myself because like, I'm like, oh, I got him back. And it wasn't even like that. I had him back for a minute, for a day, for three days. And then he was off doing his own thing until the next week, you know, when I started crying and, and you know, just saying, you better see me and, and stuff like that, which, you know, I should have never had to do that. So, you know, just think just think about yourself. Think about what you're doing, what you're going through. Actually, in this book, I actually have week by week of how I was feeling. So I'm going to make sure that I get you that. Like this is going into when I was started reading Joyce Myers, A Confident Woman. It was actually going into week five. Um, <laughs> week one, two, three, or four, I pretty much was a straight up mess. Um, I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't focus. I cried all the time, like I said. And the last one, cry, 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 let it out. Talk to your friends, um, you know, do whatever you have to do. It may seem that you're not going to get over this. It may seem that you're never going to love again or nobody's going to ever love you because this one person didn't do what you wanted didn't fall for you like you wanted him to do um 
I was so down, so hurt, so just messed up. And it, and I did something to make him never want to talk to me again because I personally couldn't let him go. I couldn't, no matter how bad he treated me. Not that he treated me bad. It's just, you know, he loved me when he wanted to on his terms, whenever he wanted to, whenever... You know, you know, he didn't have time for me. Sometimes he didn't answer his phone then for three days and you know, the whole thing, I, I, I was busy. I lost my phone and stuff. And you know, he was pretty much out there with somebody else and everything. And I get it now and I understand it. But, and I knew it then, but I just didn't want to believe it because I would, I would just be like, who, who would, who would do that? Why would they do that to me? I love them so much. Well, they do. Um, Love shouldn't have to have you thinking like that. Have confidence in yourself, but don't go after something material or don't go after the whole, you know, oh, he's got a Porsche or he's got a Mercedes or he's got this. He lives in a high rise, you know, he's all jazzed up or whatever. Don't go by the person's personality because action is what defines us like people can tell me they love me all the time i love you i love you i love you and i hear that i constantly i heard that you know i love you baby this and that or whatever but they wasn't showing it so people can tell you anything but respect yourself enough to see that those actions that they are treat showing you is not what they're saying it's not reflecting the words that they are saying so you know, just think about that. Just try to understand that you don't have to work at this. So, you know, get, get, have confidence in yourself. Go to the gym, work out, read, like read a confident woman, read, read um, um, about emotions and, and steps to get better. And um, it was it's just so many books that you can find in a bookstore or even online now. Um, so many great people that you know can can teach you that to have you learn about yourself talk to somebody i mean if you have to if you're really really down or something you are down you know most jobs offer mental health um Ment uh, mental health um their sessions or hurt um like i have my therapist and um you know my job pretty much everything covers it because people they want you to be okay they want you to be mentally strong so make sure you talk to somebody talk to your friends talk to a therapist talk to your family just don't talk to that person that hurt you and made you think that you are not lovable because you are um have confidence like i said confidence in yourself Go work out. Do something for yourself. Treat yourself good. Pamper yourself. I, I mean, I remember days once I finally was able to, like, function. I would just pamper myself. I would do my toes. I'd get my nails done. I'd, you know, to get my hair done. Get made up. Go out. Have a, you know, have a martini or something like that. And just be by myself. And, you know, just learning me. Learning the person that I am. Um, the next one I'm going to talk, talk to you about... Um, uh, a little exercise that I did and it's called um, looking into the mirror and you look at yourself into the mirror and I'll tell you all about that and say tell yourself that, that you love you um, it's, it's a lot going on with that but have the confidence to be able to stand up for yourself have the confidence to know what is good for you what you can take and what you cannot take what you deserve and what you do not deserve have the confidence in yourself to realize that okay it's not me that's 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 messing up it's this person it's that person that's hurting you and you have to let it go because sometimes we we think in our minds i can't i can't understand why he's not loving me because i'm all that or i'm or i'm this or whatever it's not like that okay and so you get even more frustrated but most of the time you just want something that you see somebody else have that you think you can't get yourself and that is so not true you can do anything that you want to do that you set your mind to doing i mean it may take time but you can do whatever it is you need to be done and i'm talking about important things things that are you know that that reflects a decent life. You don't have you don't have to have all the Louis Vuittons and you know Coach and Gucci and Mercedes and Lexuses and Porsches, especially if you can't afford it. And you don't need to jump on somebody else's bandwagon when they're not going to respect you. I mean, if you find a nice person like that that respects you, long as you know that 
they love you for you and you're loving them for, for them, not for what they have or what you want or what you want to look like. Um, Cause I always been, boy, I look good stepping out of this Porsche or I look good stepping out of this Lamborghini. And, um, but those people are not around me right now because you know, that that's, that's all it was about. It was, it was about looks. I was pretty much arm candy and that's all I was just like that Lambo or just like that Porsche or just like that, um, Benz or, or Lexus or BMW that made them look good. I was just the person there to just, just compliment everything on that and um and that's it that's all it was just another thing to that person just a thing not a person not a human being just a thing like the car like the jewelry like you know like all of that but nothing real nothing solid nothing nothing decent to that person just a thing that you get that they could throw away at any time they can get rid of at any time and um it's it, like I just didn't understand it. I wanted that life, but that life is not for me. I am totally and completely content with my husband that I had now when I, you know, two years before I met him, I was laying in the bed crying over some idiot that didn't even see me for me because I didn't see me for myself. So people are gonna treat you how you treat yourself, love yourself, have confidence in yourself, be yourself, know what you can take, know what you deserve, and you and and know that your love does not hurt love that it doesn't you don't have to work at it it just comes naturally and you never should have to beg for it if somebody don't have time for you then you might want to just go find somebody that does have the time for you um you know you're on your schedule you are you do what you do you can't expect some people to jump for you and then you don't jump for somebody else either but if people m mutually want to see one another then they will make time um it's no that oh i'm all busy this weekend and i don't have time probably, probably busy because he's having time for somebody else that's not you if they can't take the time for you let it go or at least go do your own thing and some if i mean you should not be the one calling all day all night i'm calling him out you know call your children you know sometimes people call their there's no good man more than they talk to their kids call your children call your mother call your sister call your brother call somebody that actually wants to talk to you that wants to hear your voice that wants to have that wants to have you around okay don't waste your time on on somebody who you got to just spend all day or all week trying to get in touch with and then on a weekend or a, a weekend later a couple of weeks later they calling you up for a booty call and you think that oh he loves me because he called me up and I'm all that no he just wants sex um <laughs> he just wants his little booty call he may hang out for a little while treat you all good and everything drive you around in his pretty car let you know you're you're all out in his nice plush uh condo or whatever wherever he's living and then that little weekend is over and then you back to calling again for a week two weeks and you think you so much in love but you're, you're just chasing you're chasing a dream that you can do in your own that you can make your own dreams come true you can do it um so it's pretty much pretty much ego and and not having a confidence in yourself and thinking that you have to have somebody else do things for you Mm -mm, girl or boy it doesn't make a difference who you are girl or boy or whatever don't chase don't chase make have them come to you demand your respect because you respect yourself you know what you deserve you know the kind of respect that you deserve and need so just think about that that's my tip for today confidence and have enough confidence in yourself to know that if you got to chase them he ain't for you, okay? Have enough confidence in yourself to know that you can go out and get whatever it is you want to get for yourself. Work hard, work hard, work, you know, make a, a dream board or a board, of, you know, you, write down your, your goals or, and what you want to do and everything for yourself, for your children and stop going after having somebody else trying to give you what you think you've had and don't let anybody have enough confidence in yourself to real to know when you're being treated bad. Um, have enough confidence in yourself to know that it's not worth it. It's it's not worth somebody treating you in a way that you should not be treated because you're trying to hold on to something that you never really had. Okay, love yourself because if you can't love yourself, 
Nobody else can love you, right? I mean, you you have to, look, number one, love yourself. And never love anybody more than they love you when it comes to that. That's my model. That's my thing. That's how I feel about that. Because that heartbreak is still sticking with me. It's still with me. I mean, when you love somebody, when you really truly love somebody, and even though you have to let them go, you got to get them out of your life, does not mean that you're going to stop loving them. Because love is love and it's true and it's real. It's, it does not mean it's, it's, you're going to have, but sometimes you got to let those things go that you love. You got to, be, because it's hurting you, it's not supposed to hurt, okay? So have enough confidence, have enough, you know, self-respect to let, let it go. And you'll cry and you'll be hurt and, you know, but you'll get past it. You will get past it. I did, I thought I would never get past it. Um, but... I came out of that relationship such a better person because like my book says, how my loving him taught me how to love myself because I realized everything that I should not take in this one little thing, one little relationship. And um, I realized that I was just so busy focused on getting him to love me but he couldn't because how could he he was disrespecting me the whole time and i'm just running a after him because you know i don't have enough i didn't have enough respect for myself so i just let him just do whatever he wanted after i started reading my books get that book you know a confident woman you know there's a lot a lot of other books out there i'll let you know about them um you know i'll do another video i'm sorry i was reading my paper because i just want i want you to get everything out of it that i did um so by around week six i started reading books um and just trying to get my confidence back trying to understand what was going on trying to trying to figure out why this man couldn't love me you know because i loved him so much and you know and it's and um i just i just finally realized well he, I, how could he, he, he couldn't love me I, I didn't even like I didn't even like me um, but we'll get to that later I just want you to know it'll be okay it'll be fine you got this okay you got this all right so cry if you have to like I said talk to your friends like I said in one video have confidence like I'm telling you now um, keep your faith your higher power, like I said in the other video, make check out all the videos. I always have something that I'm that I'm going on. T today was confidence, so keep your faith. Cry, um, talk to your friends, have confidence, and um, you will get through this. All right, so that's my tip from my book. How my loving him taught me how to love myself, and I will see you on the next video with another tip. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And please talk to me, message me, do um do whatever, do do what you can. Um reach out, okay? God bless. You are blessed and you are loved. Don't forget, look in that mirror and tell yourself that you love you. Bye again.